All right, so I'm gonna come in here and just make sure that she's got her eye on And notice how she's automatically saying, please help me. And just the second I come in, she's automatically gets much calmer. And this is what consistent good leadership does for a horse, is it makes them um, believe that we got their back. And if they don't trust that we have their back, then they gotta take care of their, themselves. Now she's a very dominant mare. Um, so you'll notice with her, I'm using a lot more force than I needed to with the other horse in, in the other video. I'm gonna grab that whip. Because what I need from her is for her to think about me and to calmly stand in one place. So with this horse in particular, um, I'm very firm with the whip. And notice I'm not trying to get in a wrestling match because this horse will definitely use her head as a weapon because she learned that she could be stronger than some of her other handlers. So I'm just gonna ask her to move around. And with this horse in particular, everything is about being away from me. And you'll also notice that she's not fully capable of doing exact haunch turns or anything with the classic way that I would ask them to do it. And I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just thinking about that athleticism or that obedience and not doing it in a real particular way. So I'm gonna move to the left side and I'll just do the same thing. And I'm really making sure that she knows to keep that distance so that I'm gonna help her out in this situation. So once I get some level of obedience and calm, I start rubbing on her and I start telling her what a nice girl she is. And she's inching up on me so I'm going to tell her to back off. And then I'm going to tell her, see if she wants scratched. And notice, good girl, she even put her head down there for a second. Notice how that is kind of helping her to to be a little bit more comfortable in her own skin. So I'm gonna, I would just do that and repeat kind of that same process. She's not allowed to, to dominate. And it's not about being beautiful and having this amazing, like I'm not looking like I have got this perfect way of using my whip. I'm holding it kind of funny, kind of doing this a little funny because it's about communicating with your horse. It's not about looking perfect to the outside as long as she understands what I'm talking about. And she definitely understands what, we're ta what I'm talking about. And she's you can see her personality 
is a lot more dominant. Her ears, she hasn't really submitted, but she has decided to be obedient. And so I'm not gonna concern myself with her being perfect or putting, she's inching up. That's, I think she wants scratching her tail. Yeah. So she's kind of setting herself up where she'd like to get scratched. Yeah, girl. All right. <laughs>